Hi there, today we're going to go over crafter gear progression. These are very similar to poetics at a certain point and you can treat this as kind of the ultimate guide for crafter and gather gear leveling, basically one from endgame. At the end of this video, I'm going to explain why script gear is better than buying other pieces of gear while you're loving as there's always people in the comments who say that you should always buy the highest item level on the market board, which just simply isn't true when it comes to poetics and script gear. Let's begin. 1 through 49. Now in this tier of leveling, unfortunately, you'll be entirely reliant on vendor gear. It is the cheapest gear to get as you're leveling, but don't fall for the trap of looking at the market board because people intentionally put crafter gear for way more gear than what it's actually worth. A lot of people forget to just look at the vendors. You can purchase these mostly from your starting city, Gridania, Ulda, or Limza Lominza. It's also good to check the market board sometimes because you can find super, super cheap things for just a couple hundred or even 10 to 50 gil instead of a thousand or more from a vendor. But still, the vendor is usually the cheaper option at this point. A really important note here is to make sure to upgrade your accessories as those usually what give you more GP and CP, which means more abilities you can use, which means easier time crafting your gathering. A lot of players forget to update those as they level. 50 and above, unfortunately, it can get quite expensive and this is where you can be checking the market board regularly to catch super cheap items. If you are using the market board, I highly recommend searching around to different servers to see if you can find things really, really cheap there. Another great tip here is if you have your grand company leveled as everyone should, you can purchase level 50 crafter and gatherer gear that will make this step a whole lot easier and way cheaper from 50 to 57. Crafters do have a full set of armor at level 50, but gatherers can only get weapons and a hat, I believe, for grand company. So you'll still have to supplement from market board or vendors for gatherers. We are basically just going to struggle until about level 58 to where you can purchase your first script gear. Now, if you want a video on scripts specifically, then leave a comment down below so I know. I will mention now you can unlock scripts with level 50 crafter or gatherer in Mordona from the quest called Inscrutable Taste. Once unlocked, you'll want to start working on collectibles to start getting scripts. If you're wondering how you can get these, you can start with collectible gathering or crafting. Also happy to do a video on that. You only need maybe one or two pieces, so I'd start with the cheaper ones. So for level 58, you're looking at the Adept's armor from any script vendor. For gatherers, you're looking at level 58 Trailblazer armor. From here, we have a very short time but a gigantic stat jump to level 60 scripts gear, item level 200 Milkeep's armor from the script vendor. Now don't be concerned about script collecting because now we have finally unlocked the level 60 collectibles quest, Go West Craftsman from Mordona. This allows Idleshire to be unlocked as well as your first custom delivery. Now you'll want to unlock this custom delivery because basically this is going to give you a crap ton of scripts to upgrade all your gear to get that level 60 script gear. This is going to hold you over all the way to level 70. So you want to collect all the gear pieces, weapons, armors, and accessories. When I did it, I prioritized getting a weapon and a chest piece as those offers the biggest bang for the buck and the most stat increases. You might not even need a full set before you get to the next set. Usually just three or four pieces will hold you over all the way until level 70. It might seem like you need a lot of scripts, but custom deliveries will give you a crap ton of scripts every week if you do all 12 turn-ins, which you should be doing no matter what. You might struggle on your first crafter, but then the subsequent seven will be easy since you'll be swimming in scripts from leveling on collectibles. Now, however you're leveling, just by doing crafting and gathering log, Ishgard, collectibles, grand company, your next goal is to get more scripts to start purchasing your level 70 scripts gear, item level 350. Now, it's important you do not get the 330. Those are old and irrelevant, and 350 is the highest for level 70, so make sure you purchase the right ones. From level 70 and on, you can purchase all the armor first as it will work for all classes and are not class specific, unlike the level 60 was. Now that you'll be leveling 70 to 80, from there you'll move on to level 80, item level 500. Again, for 40 and 470, obsolete. So make sure to buy the item level 500 ones from the scripts vendor. At this level, you will have a multitude of ways of getting collectibles, custom deliveries. I'm gonna make a video on everything you can do and what you unlock at each level of crafter. So if you want that video, then make sure to comment down below and like this video. I just feel like there's so much to do in game. And now that we're on our 
fourth expansions, it's easy to get lost as you're leveling. Now at level 80, you'll be now crafting your gear from here. The level 80's white scripts gear will hold you over all the way until level 90. From here, once you hit level 90, you may think, well, let's go for purple scripts gear. You don't really want to do that. It's a long time and it's kind of unnecessary. You'll want to first craft yourself the level 90 integral gear item level 560. This will get you the upgraded stats you need in order to craft the newest gear that expansion has to offer. And this totally depends on what patch we're in. Now that sounds like a lot. And the way easier thing to do is just go to the market board and purchase yourself the highest level gear you can equip at level 90. If there are updates to gear throughout a patch, it will still be level 90, just a higher item level. It can cost a pretty penny depending on when you are purchasing, but if you can time it right or search around to different servers or data centers, it's totally worth it as you only have to buy one set that all eight of your crafters will share. What can get expensive is purchasing all the different weapons and offhands for each eight crafters. Let's recap and go over the gear progression explained. 1 through 49, you can do vendor and PC gear. 50 to 57, you can do vendor or grand company or market board gear. 58 to 59 will be level 50, item level 130 script gear. 60 to 69 will be level 60, item level 200 script gear. Level 70 to 79 will be level 70, item level 350 script gear. 80 to 89 will be level 80 item level 500 script gear. Level 90 is our current expansion, so you will be using the highest crafter item level gear available at the time. Currently of this video, it's item level 590, but this gear will change and update when new patches around. Now let's give an example as to why script gear is better when you're leveling and to not waste your money upgrading your gear between script gear. This example, I have the level 60 script gear item level 200 all equipped as you can see here on my main character. And let's say you're leveling with collectibles. We're going to look at the level 68 collectible rarefied persimmon bracelets. As you can see, this collectible is eight levels above us and we are going to complete it no problem. This is of course determining that you are above level 65 for manipulation, but can also be done before level 65. I already have my one through 49 crafter rotations guide out and the 60 to 89 crafter rotation video will come out very soon. I'm just using a pretty basic opener and rotation here, which you'll find in the video that's coming out. And as you can see, I can complete this no problem. This is without food as well as using basic synthesis, which you would be using careful synthesis but I have a level 89 trait that increases careful synthesis, so I didn't want to use that for this example. So hopefully this lets you know that you can use script gear solely and never have to upgrade your gear between leveling. I have personally leveled around 10 gatherers and crafters from one to 89 on different accounts and alt characters. So I have tested this thoroughly and have had zero issues with using this. Hopefully this helps you get a better understanding on how your gearing works for crafters and gatherers. If you have any questions on gearing, you can join my discord and ask in the crafting or gathering channels. I have a ton of Final Fantasy playlist that you can check out in the description box depending if you're in crafting, gathering, job guides, controller guides, and a sprout center. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials then you can click here.